So I am a fan of anything smothered. Hey, blame it on my grandmother. But these days, we're keeping it slightly healthier with cauliflower instead of chicken. And just because we're using cauliflower doesn't mean we're lacking on flavor at all. My onion and pepper gravy is so good, you'll swear it came from me. And of course, everything we do, you know it's gotta be simple, delicious, easy, and just good food. So, let's get started. All right, first things first is we're gonna start by making some rice. So I'm gonna cut this heat onto like a medium heat. And then I'm gonna drop in some olive oil into a pan. All right, next I'm gonna take two cups of rice and throw the rice right into the hot oil. Then I'll give it a stir just to make sure the rice is combined with the oil and the oil is combined with the rice. My golden rule anytime I cook up rice is always one to two, right? So there's gonna be one part rice, two part liquid. In this case, we use two cups of rice. So I'm gonna use four cups of vegetable broth right into the pan. All right, so now that the rice is cooking up and doing its thing, I wanna prepare the cauliflower, right? Because what I wanna do is fry it up and get it nice and golden brown so I can make a lovely gravy for it, right? So I have a very small head of uh, cauliflower here, and I'm just gonna cut it down to size into like kind of bite-sizing pieces, right? So then the cauliflower is gonna go into a bowl now here's how we do this to make sure our seasoning stick and make sure we get a really nice, lovely fry on the cauliflower. All right, so I've got some vegan half and half that I'm just gonna throw right in here, all right, because we're gonna start creating a crust and a batter for our cauliflower, all right? Obviously, I don't know where you get your cauliflower from, but where I get mine from, it doesn't come seasoned, so we have to season this thing up. So I'm gonna start by adding in some pepper, all right, and then I've got some salt that I'm gonna throw in here. And then you know how I do, a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder are gonna go right in here. So here's our onion powder, all right? And then here is the garlic powder. All right, we get a spoon to toss this around. So we start to make sure that we get every nook, every cranny of the cauliflower, really incorporated with flavor. All right, so then I have some flour and cornstarch that I'm just gonna add in here to start creating a crust for our cauliflower. So here is some flour. I like to fry with cornstarch. So we're gonna add some cornstarch right into the mix as well. All right. Everything just gets a stir until it's nice and coated. All right, so the oil is nice and hot. The cauliflower is nice and coated. You know what that means. Let's go ahead and put the cauliflower right into the hot oil. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the cauliflower so it cooks on the other side. All right, so now that our cauliflower has been cooking on both sides, it's nice and golden brown, so I'm just gonna take it out of the oil and drain it right into paper towels. Look at how golden brown the cauliflower is, how nice and crispy and crunchy this is. This is gonna be perfect as our gravy sort of holds onto it, right? I can tell that the liquid has all cooked out of our rice, so I wanna grab a lid, and I'm just gonna put a lid onto the rice. I'm going to cut off the heat. To that, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some chopped onion, celery, and bell pepper. Also got a couple of garlic cloves I'm gonna add in, whole garlic cloves, and I'm just gonna give it a toss, so give it a stir. And I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper just to get it going. All right, so here's the salt, and then here's the pepper. All right, so the onions, the garlic, the celery, the bell pepper is all cooking, and it smells really good. The thing I wanna do is I wanna create what's called a roux, right, for our gravy, and a roux is just flour and oil that's cooked together. So I'm gonna put some flour right into these vegetables and let this cook just until it turns a dark brown color. All 
All right, so look at this. The roux has sort of cooked down to a nice, like, chocolate brown. That's what we're going for because the longer we cook this roux, the better off we're gonna be in terms of just layers of flavor with the onion, the garlic, the bell pepper. This is gonna be some good stuff, all right? So I've got my vegetable broth and I'm just gonna put it in here and stir while I add it. I need to season our gravy as it thickens, right? So I'm gonna do that by adding in a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and a whole heap of black pepper. Might as well do a little bit of salt in there as well. There we go. All right, we'll give this a stir, and look at what we have. We have a lovely onion and pepper gravy that is just fantastic, all right? Nice and dark color. So I'm just gonna lower the heat and I'm just gonna add back in this cauliflower. So the cauliflower could start to soak up some of that flavor as well, right? This is that crispy cauliflower that we fried up that's looking really good. All right, so now there's only, you know, one thing left to do obviously and that's to go ahead and plate this up. So this is the lovely smothered cauliflower with that lovely gravy. And then we're gonna serve it over this perfectly cooked pan of rice. <sighs> Look at that. Lovely, ready to go. So let's put rice on the bottom of the bowl. Let's spoon in some cauliflower. My mouth is like, let's go. Let's spoon in some cauliflower and the gravy, because it's all about the gravy. Look at that, it's all about the gravy. All right, and then we just need an element. One little element of freshness right on top. So I've got some scallions that I'm just gonna slice up real quick. All right, and I'm gonna put them right over on top. I have such a tough job. Somebody has to taste this to make sure the flavors are on point and well. I gotta do it, all right? So I'm gonna get in here with the cauliflower that's fried up, that gravy, a little bit of the scallion, and I'm gonna taste this. Let me tell you something though. The key is developing the flavor of that roux. That richness and that savory note comes through with flying colors. The rice is super fluffy and delicious. The cauliflower is seasoned. The gravy is perfect. What else could you ask for? This is a fantastic bowl of food, and you can find the recipes on my website. It's DariusCooks.tv. Listen, there's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it's my food. Until next time, I want to wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Mmm. Mmm.